scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Why, wow, sorry. If you fool my you're right. Koto jengi na ba kuto, tatra ma kasa, Jesus, Yorah. You can stand on your feet wherever you are tonight. Oh, Yorah, masora ba. Oh, Yorah, wherever you are, lift up your two hands to the King. It is ringing from the dead, his love. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is love, is love. tonight in just a little while an amazing unction of God is coming your avenue it is so powerful that even as I speak now the power of God is moving right where you are and this is a spirit of resurrection and it is a spirit of restoration everything that is dead in your life will receive life and everything that you have lost in your life will suddenly come back God is about to do something new in this city and something new in your life lift those two hands up
And would it be a season for coming to begin to receive healing? Healing is already here. The power of the enemy is broken already. There is a visitation in this city. There is a visitation in this city. There is a visitation in your life. There is a visitation in your home. Leave those two hands up. Our Father, tonight is your night. You are such an awesome God. You do all your things in that season. Our Father, this is your season. We are gathered at your instance and at your word. Prove yourself faithful. Let everything that is dead receive life. Let everything that is bound be loosed. Let a place where there is no hope receive hope tonight. Listen to me, devil. You are in the wrong place. This habitation is fashioned for the presence of the Lord. You have no part in this place. You have no power over this place. You have no claims over everyone in this place. We hold you bound in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we command you to bow. We release every prisoner now in the name of Jesus. We set free every bound. We heal every sickness in the name of Jesus. Let your word resound today. Bring liberty tonight. In Jesus' name, let the saints sound and say amen. amen. No, 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 you are at the football park. I want you to sound a better amen. Let that amen be resounding enough. I want to feel it on the platform. Shout hallelujah. I am going to read the word of God before you sit down tonight, unless you are weak. Shout amen. Amen. I'm reading two powerful scriptures tonight. And I want you, I will let you sit down. Exodus chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. And John's gospel chapter 3, verse 14 to 18. Exodus 3, 3 to 4 says, then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look. God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses! Moses! And he said, Here I am, O Lord. John chapter 3. Verse 14 and 18 said, As Moses lifted up the servant in the wilderness, even so might the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And hear this. For a mighty God so loved the world. Begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son 
man of God. And you can scream amen and sit down, beloved. And shout another amen. Wherever you are, the hearing of my voice tonight, there is a season of God's restoration to everyone the hearing of my voice tonight. The almighty God is here and about to visit you tonight. This is a season of God's visitation. The mercies of God the love of God the kindness of God the favor of God has been released on your account tonight regardless of your past I'm talking to God's people can I have an amen somewhere this is a season of great bliss and favor. God is bringing the sinner back to himself. Not according to their sins. No. He is giving you a new lease of life. And he is giving you it. He is forgiving your past and granting you mercy and forgiveness. Oh, what a visitation. Hallelujah. Amen. He is healing the sick and the broken hearted tonight. God is restoring your dignity. And he is restoring yourself back to you. He is bringing you back your self worth. You are looking all around you. You are remembering what you used to be. And what you have become suddenly. You are about giving up. I say, oh yeah, Papa. But I have been sent to come and tell you, do not give up tonight. Somebody here shout, Amen. God is setting you at liberty, them that are bound by the devil. Everything that you ever lost since Adam is here for you tonight if you believe and accept. Somebody just scream and shout and say amen. Listen, all these are available to you tonight if you allow Jesus to come into your life. If he comes right now, there will be salvation in your life. If he comes right now, there will be healing in your life. If he comes right now, there will be deliverance in your life. If he comes right now, you will have eternal life. Somebody will shout amen. Are you ready? Why a crowd? Men say amen. Are you ready? Why a crowd? Somebody scream and say, I am listening to you. Tonight, I will begin by talking to you about a man in scripture called Moses. And then I say, I can be a friend in Moses. Who's him? This Moses was a prince. Some Moses, you know, you know, you it was a man who was destined to be great. He was born in a very perilous times. When all the children of his age must die at the command of the king. By dint of a great mystery. Moses was raised as a prince of Pharaoh. He was trained and bred and nurtured at the palace of the king of Egypt in the height of that civilization. The king of Egypt. 
Egypt, Mizrim, Nena, Hivi. At the height of that civilization. I was Sabreno, a Mayana, a Tumpompanum. This Moses was raised as a general of the army of Egypt. Now, some more say what it's saying, they say, Mizrim. He was equipped with the knowledge of that civilization, a great scientist. He was educated with the best education of his time. Destined to be the next pharaoh. Great future. And great hope. Like you, your mother has told you. Even before you were born, you have been born for greatness. But the next time we checked, Moses was wandering in an obscured desert. His Egyptian cloth was gone. His clothes have become tattered. He has no shoes on. He was wandering in the desert. Think about it. Ask me to stop preaching. Ask me to stop. Can I preach? Can I preach? Can I preach? His identity has been changed. His princely garment has been replaced by a shepherd's rags. His princely rod of authority has been transformed into a shepherd's rod. Instead of riding on a horseback, he was combing in the desert. On hot sand without adequate footwear. Too obscured to be identified as the king prince of Egypt. But guess what? And so said, not for one day, not for a week, not for a year, but for 40 years. He was wandering on the desert without what holds for his future. Think about it. Why? Because the hang around his neck a penalty of sin. Of death. He has murdered a man out of desire to redeem his people. And now his ambition is gone. He's running away from his past. This guy is so that he will not be identified. He has resigned himself to self-pity. And a secluded life in the desert. Think about it. It's like, it sounds like somebody I'm talking to tonight. But guess what? All this while, God was looking for his attention. His mercies and love and forgiveness and grace has been out to save him, but he was too thrown away to listen. He was too thrown away. Too disguised. In case he will be identified. But God decided to draw and arrest his attention. He set a fire into a bush. But the bush was not burning. When Moses' attention was drawn to the spectacular sign on the bush of fire without burning. The Bible said. And when he turned aside all that it takes him was for Moses 
to turn aside his eyes and look. But he was drawn by his past. And so he was drawn by his sin. He was drawn by the penalty that hung around his neck. But all this while the mercies of God is coming out for Moses. When he turned aside, God called him by name. Moses! Moses! Moses. Moses. See, God still knows him by name. He may have changed his name, but God knows his name. People may have given him a suitable name, but God knows his name. But God still knows him by his real name. He is not called Hey or Aqua, he is called Moses. Then he said, I am the God of your fathers. I have come to restore to you your past. I have come to restore to you your dignity. I have come to restore to you your power and your might and your glory and your greatness. Everybody here shout and give him a clap of him. Will he please? Listen, my friend. I don't know where you have come from. But like most Every man born of a woman is born a sinner. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the Bible says, The wages of sin is. And has been pursuing us up until now. Your sin is driving you away from God. Away from people and away from yourself. For the wages of sin is death. The devastating consequences of sin is driving you into the desert. You have, you have lost your place in life. You have lost your self-respect. You have lost your dignity. You have lost your worth. You are like good for nothing. But I'm talking to somebody tonight. You have lost your health. And the doctor says there is no cure for that disease. Your strength may be failing right now. You have come to a place of stuck in life. You have become so empty and deserted. Though the wages of sin is death, the Bible says the gift of Almighty God is eternal life. But hear me tonight. All this while, God is looking for you. And he has asked us tonight to draw your attention to him tonight. God's voice is ringing out for you everywhere. He is looking for you, my friend. To give you a new new lease of life. He's looking for you to give you forgiveness and salvation. He's looking for you to give you healing and deliverance. Guess what? He wants to bring you restoration. If somebody somewhere heard me, you can shout and say amen. The Bible says God demonstrates his own love towards us. Bible That in that while we were yet sinners, Christ Jesus, Christ the Son of God, came to die for us. I used to live in this place. 
Kaneno. In a place called Daniel Sawmill. There be a friend of Daniel Sawmill. I used to have a church there. Na me wa sorry oh. One very early morning. An opportunity to be before it was seven o'clock. And sun and on so me bono. A woman covered herself up with her clothes. Mami be adding in to my ekatani home. And came to stand at the back of my door. And I obeyed now me pumwechi. And he knocked in. And I obeyed. And she came in and sat. And I obeyed me pumwechi now say. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, everything is wrinkled like they have put hot water upon her body. And she was smelling. And she sat in front of me. Then she said to me, I have seen people coming here and going. I have come to ask if there is hope for people like me. My baby pusa say any da so be wo home and power to say me. Can I said madam what is your story? And I may say mommy what some ne say. She said I can't tell you. I say me to me can't tell. It is so horrible to tell. I don't know your story. But something is driving you crazy. But I have come to tell you tonight that there is an eyes that is looking all over this place for you. She said to me, I said to her rather, God will show you some kindness. So you can't be sure. I said, there be me to me My sins are so grave. Me born in a more to the It is not like the one I can be forgiven. And she said, yeah, what to me did any be? And I said, what did you do? Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. For all men are sinners. I said, sir, nipa nina ayah de bonya for. Said I killed my husband. I said, miku, miku. I took somebody's husband. Me kofa obi knu. And decided. To take him away from her. May I imagine some matching a feeling some. And the charm killed him. And I a drone cool. Afterwards, a train. His wife is dead. The union's wow. I am reduced to this disease. Say say the yari ina upon me. And there is no red of it for me. Na. And I said it doesn't matter how sinful you are. For this cause the son of God came into this world. To save all sinners. And then she looked into my eyes. She said what should I do? I said accept the Lord Jesus into your heart. And all your sins will be forgiven. Then he said just like that. He said yes just like that. And then she did. And then she looked into my eyes. I said, what is the next thing to do? The family don't know about it. I said, would you want the man's family to know? She said, I can go and tell them tomorrow. He came back with the with the Ebusia penny from that house. And she said, I have listened to her story. We have nothing against her. It was on Monday. Friday has come. Another Friday was church time. Here come that same woman. And there is no trace of any soul all over his body. Because if the Son of God shall set you free, if the Son of God shall set you free, if the Son of God shall set you free, the Bible says you shall be free indeed. Somebody here in this place shout Amen. What you have is you have been so redrawn. That God cannot have your attention. Many things are drawing your attention. It does not require much. The Bible says, turn and look. Make a decisive decision. To come to him no matter what. His arms are wide open. 
Repent from every evil way tonight. Make a definite move towards God today. His arms are open wide. It doesn't take too much. Just turn and look. When Moses turned, God spoke to him. God is looking for your attention. If you can just turn and look. If you can just turn and look. And as Moses lifted up the serpent of the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. Oh, I love this. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. That whosoever. Believes in him. Should not perish. He will have everlasting life. For God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe in him is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Lift up your right hand if you are here and listen. When God had restored Moses to his former place and giving him wealth and power and dignity he showed him how subsequent generations can likewise be redeemed and restored put your hands down quickly and look into my eyes and ask me how on the wilderness there was a very precarious situation. Snakes were want, biting the redeemed people. Want, but God said to Moses, and so to Moses make say, a brazen serpent and hang it on a tree. Now listen. See, Whoever looks at it, no matter his situation, will be healed. That was symbolic. And there were three things. Number one was brass. It represents sin. The second one is a snake which represents Satan. The third one is a tree that represents the cross of Christ. God has put a cross right there. And on that cross, he has hung Satan and sin. Whosoever shall look at it and shall come to that cross, the devil will be dismembered in his life. His sin will be forgiven. And on that cross, he will have salvation. The Bible says God has hung Jesus on that cross. All you have to do is to look at that cross and you will live. Look and you will live. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son to be hanged on the cross. On that cross all your sins are dealt with. On that cross Satan is condemned. On that cross your forgiveness of sin. On that cross you have healing. On that cross all that is yours are going to come back to you. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. You don't need to do much. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, 
Bible says, "Say what you want to pay me, because yes, you are now. Did he say, 'Nyango pao, enya ne ne fiye ufu mwa.' You will be saved. Ube nyango kwa. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. Yadi yakuma ene didi kotsini ni mu. And with the mouth confession is made unto righteous salvation. Na yadi yano apai mu ako enkwati. The scripture says, "Whosoever believes in Him will not be put to shame." Obi piara otini dino eni rimu. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Na obi piara obe poe radi dino. Will be saved. Obe tini enkwa. Now open your eyes and look at me, friends. This is my message tonight. Jesus is right here, hand. This is a season of restoration. If you look, you will have salvation. If you look, not tomorrow, but tonight, your sickness will be healed. Chains will be broken. Only what you have to do is look. I want you to stand on your feet wherever you are. Listen to my voice. Whether you are on the television. Whether you are right there in your house. You can please stand on your feet. And look into my eyes and listen. I have been given the opportunity to come and warn you to give your life to Jesus tonight. And that is what I'm going to do tonight. After which I'm going to pray for every sick. And even before you land this place, you are healed. Oh, come on, shout amen. And your chains will be broken. I want you to bow down your head wherever you are. And I want you to close your eyes. And listen to me. It doesn't matter your pedigree. You may be a chief. You may be a politician. You are so drawn apart. I was looking at Moses, you see. He was so drawn apart that when even God was telling him, look, I want to restore you back. The man said, don't talk about it. You don't know about me. I am even a samurai. Moses, I want to bring you back. He said, no, 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 no. Don't talk about it. I cannot even talk properly. He said, put even the tree, the stick on your hand on the ground. That's text snake. He said, I don't mind what snake is it. I can't go. So drawn away. But when God has had a hold of him, he was made the greater deliverer of all times. That is what God is about to do in your life. Bow down your head, everyone. This may be your prayer. Everything is falling apart. I don't know what to do. Jesus is giving you opportunity. Yes, He's giving you opportunity. Yes, If you are standing right here somewhere. Now you want to give your life and look at Jesus for your life to be changed and give you salvation. And your sins forgiven. Please slip your right hand up. If you want Jesus. After that I will pray for the sick. Don't worry. Lift it up where you are. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm Israel. God bless you. I want to lead you and pray for you. Don't put the hand down. I want you to make your way and come to me right now. Come quickly. With your right hand up. God bless you. Come. 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 come quickly. Come quickly. God bless you, my brother. From the back, help them to come. Help them to come. Come to Jesus. Come to you. Come. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. He's calling you wherever you are. He wants to give you a new life. Come come, 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 my brother. Come, 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 come
Don't put your hands down. I want you to see it. It's a declaration that you have given your life and yourself to him. Come quickly. Come, come, come. come. All over this place. From the back, from the left, from the right, from the left. Come quickly. All you young people, run and come to him right now. Tonight is a night of mercy, a night of salvation, a night of revelation of the Son of God. Come quickly. Help somebody who is standing beside you to come to Jesus. The door has been opened. Come right in front here. Come here. Come everyone. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come, come to Jesus. Come to him. Come to Jesus. Come to him. Come to Jesus. Come to him. Run from the back and come. Many of you, many of you, several of them, tens of them, hundreds of them, they are coming to Jesus. I want you to help them by giving the Lord a clap for them to be encouraged to start coming. Come to, come to the Lord Jesus. Come to the Lord Jesus. Come to the Lord Jesus. The door of mercy has been opened. The law of salvation has been opened. Help somebody to come tonight. Help somebody to come tonight. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Run and come to Jesus. He's here to give you life. He's here to give you salvation. He's here. He's here. He's here to change your life. Come to him. Come to him for the come. Go ahead, clap for them to come. Several of them are standing at the back. Several of them are running and coming. Come, 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 come everyone. Come, come to Jesus tonight. Come, 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 come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Don't wait any longer. Don't wait any longer. Don't wait any longer. Don't wait any longer. This is a day of opportunity. 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 Jesus is calling you. Come to Jesus tonight. Come to Jesus tonight. Come to Jesus tonight. Several of them are still coming. Help them to come. Help them to come. Help them to come. Help them to come. Everywhere. 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 There is no name. Give them a clap off and help them to come. Several of them. Uh, they are coming. 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 They are coming to Jesus. They are coming to Jesus. You are not coming to any man. You are coming to Jesus. You are not coming to any man. You are coming to Jesus. You are not coming to any man. You are coming to Jesus. Give the Lord a clap. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Mama Soraba. Rafiana Badge, Rafiana Badge, Come quickly, come, 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 come. Tonight is a night of grace and mercy. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you.
Bring them out quickly. We are still waiting for you, young man. He's tired. Give them a clap offering. Let them come. Many, many of them, several of them, they are coming to Jesus. Jesus session tonight. We are about to close this session tonight. So wherever you are standing and you want to accept Jesus, please come quickly. You may be in your house. You may be watching us on any social media handle. Social media. God's grace is coming your avenue. I can feel you broken in your heart. I can feel you crying. You are recollecting all your past. But hey, mercy is available for you right now. For the mercies of God that bring salvation to all mankind. Has appeared tonight. It's looking for you. Come quickly. God so love you. You want to give you this life. Let all of us shout amen. And for once, I want you to sit down where you are up at the back. Those of you who have come here. I welcome all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is the first night. And you are the first fruit of this meeting. It means God loves you greatly and loves you more. Amen. 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 I'm going to invite one of our elders to come and lead you. elders He's coming to lead you. This is one of our apostles. He's coming to lead you to accept the Lord, and I'll come back again. Amen. 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 
Omodi ama wan sam yinu nyina so kosro. Se pato kasa me kan nyina moti kasa no. Yo nyami shira mo. Ma wan saso. Na ensema me ken ken bi de mechi. Moti se papa ni di adanse se. Woni mi se o kan asem na di. Ma me ne chikeke. Na so na tumi ewu. Ube wie sa asem ni. Yesu, what is a become? Can someone make a ibidimichi? Cassa enne me jiddy say me ye or diboyeni me born in tea and I use a be we inti enne me fa yesu a ye me rad enne me cra a gem quan. Meneno Benante Menqua Nenina Inti Era de Buami. I'll take for Mumayanka Ameka Siapa. Hallelujah. Patrosu Chassi, by a bumpy. Yet the Asadam Munya Mitum for Die a decay or say she am kissing. And I would say, one sir, I took a dolphin near me and me so. Oh, frere, one no. Why, yes, one day, why, yes, you see, what about one chain? Ever did she won't see what she requiring a beer when you cry for my own. But I'm quite here when you're in the name and come on, never see for you now. Oh, Jesus Christ, it demo said to me, be a do it here. Ya nam sa en kwaji e iso. Ye jiri tu mi nyina. E wo Jesus Christ di mo. O ma yen ka ame kasi e pa. Ah ma mun ko mun tie. Wa won penim fo no a wo mo won che han. Mo be ko ni o ma ko din ko mo. Mo di mudin ni ade nyina be ma wo mo. Na ye ye wa ye ye beto ye college nyina ye wi a. Then we will enter into the restoration service. Ye be bom pa ya ma yare fo. Anyone I can get on to we are leaning in area. I want fast. You are joining me. It's a month for you. Mumma must say ma omo. Mundi peni phone echi. Eh hamum. Eh. Okay. Good. 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 Mumma must say ma omo. Monsieur said, Ubia be the line, you move. Ubia be a Finance, Steve, no. And your crowd will be a SSO de Boos, Agent Agent Biano. Your best dress, eh? Oga, a crab boss to me, Oga. Yama on tag. It is a Ubi de Bo Bana on Kitata and a stag ni be embo ne Konghua. Na wa she ni ye. O fe ye ni na be bo afori a edi mu kesi e pa. Amen amo. Ni a eradi e ye. O fata se. Ye bo na afori a edi mu prekope. Ti wo mra wadi bo sun e ko anyum tu fu e ba ba ye kradu ino. O ne kradu kradu bo sun peja wansa ni enche peja bo ni enche. Aha. A being caught inside. Pejao bo, pejao bo ni enche. Eti baby out tibia no. Bo a pejao we ni mo no. And no na odi wa fori bo be tum. Ni odi be ni na yehu anya kupo be shirao. Sasa akre yehu juma di ni shira ayekese. Ya umbrasi mo a ye ni na ye sorry. You see kabefu. Wamra ni umtu foi edi ni mukai. Na yadi ya fori bo apa Oma ye nina Ambrasi mo yen sorry samri Yesu mo chai A chimi kwa Yesu mo mo Yesu mo chai A chimi kwa Yesu mo mo Oba ma mo chai A chimi kwa Yesu mo mo Yesu mo chai Mi dia mi 
Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Let somebody know. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Thank you. Give the Lord a cup, will you please? Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video. As well, share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.